problem with the beaver top with guys that can score goals. I have a problem with the beaver top with guys that aren't goal scorers. <laughs> Graham Clark, 14 goals in 63 games this year for the 67. Andre Tournier was the first year coach last year. Previously an assistant coach with the Ottawa Six, the Ottawa Senators rather, and the Colorado Avalanche. Bowen Byron across the line will give way to Samuel Poulin. Cousins will play the point of power play as well. Four forwards, one defenseman. Cousins walks in and shoots. And finds its way right in between the legs. Cousins wins the draw back to Barron. Suzuki now with a rolling puck. Ryan Suzuki, the younger brother of Nick Suzuki. The Vegas Golden Knights first round pick. Here's Cousins with it. Drops it back to Barron. Justin Barron feeds it back. He scores! Suzuki snaps it home! Barron gets it to him right on the move. Quickly as they swing it around. Cousins down low and then right on the move. And now it becomes a tough play to defend. And Ryan Suzuki makes no mistake about it. Now did Poulin touch this? On the way in, he provided the screen. Two minutes and six seconds for Canada. The shots are seven to three. That pass intercepted and moved ahead by Sylvain Landolt. Landolt was tied up there by Max Holmes. Get in. Sends it back down the ice. This will be an icing charge against Canada. It's waved off now. And moved around by Johan Anderson. Suzuki plays it back for. Michael Bakoyevich of the Kitchener Rangers of the OHL. In comes Williams with it. Josh Williams drops it back. Reese trying to work it free. Jamison Reese got bumped off the puck. And here's Justin Barrett. Quickly ahead for Suzuki. Drops it back for Reese. At the point is Bakoyevich. That's knocked wide and picked up by Cedric Fiedler. And a big hit there by Jamison Reese as he spilled his man through the, the Berlin system. Under 17, under 18, under 20, get to the big team, and there's no room for him. Suddenly the team's full of imports. So well, German players will look for other places to play, come to North America or Sweden. Or don't even play at all, which is the worst thing, because you, you don't feel you're ever going to have an opportunity to advance. Holloway plays it back to Barron, winds and shoots him. Rocket that goes just wide. Dylan Holloway plays for Okotoks in the Alberta Junior Hockey League. Takes the return pass, bumped away from him. Holloway will be going to play for Tony Granato at the University of Wisconsin in the fall of 2020. Suzuki works it in as Canada changes and plays that in deep for Jamison Reese. Reese from the Sarnia Sting of the OHL, slaps it around for Suzuki. And Suzuki centers it. Vitala had his shot blocked, and it's brought in now by Byron. Bowen Byron. Justin Barron, Halifax native, who plays for the Mooseheads. Comes walking right in. Barron works in the backhand. Shot goes wide. Oh. Setting year for Halifax, the host team for the upcoming Memorial Cup. Well, the, the 2020 draft for Lafreniere, we already know where he's at, but Justin Barron's going to be right there at the top end of that draft as well. He's another late birthday. In comes Cousins with it. Swings it down to Poulin. Back for Barron. We saw a lot of Atlantic Canadians at the Canadian Junior Camp last week. There's a lot here. You're tempted to call it the Crosby effect. It's a lot. The sixth overall pick of the 2016 Bantam draft. Knocks it down. Lines it across to Schneider. Schneider in, shoots it off a stick and wide. Jameson Reese. Tied up at the corner, now spins back. And Reese pivots back again. Schneider knocks it down the line. And again. And Josh Williams keeps it alive. Williams plays for the Medicine Tigers in the Western League. And now chipped in by Suzuki. Chet throws that ahead. And the four checker. He's Holloway off the draw, works it back in the corner. In comes Holloway with it now. Drops it back to Korzak. Off the glass, he goes to Williams. Josh Williams from Langley, BC, back for Korzak. Time winding down here in the period. Korzak.
Steps up. He's got a Swiss player with a broken stick now. Korzak centers the puck. And Byron keeps it alive for Suzuki. Centering pass for Williams. He flipped that wide as the whole. Schneider had the puck skip on him. And racing in is Stoffel. He's Stoffel. Centered it. And the puck got by the point man and back down to the Swiss zone. Great wide pass, too far for Aaron Velter. Here's Velter back behind the goal for it. Plays it back at the point. The long shot taken there by Sasha Huber. At the flex into the corner. Williams on it now. Josh Williams. Chips it there to Jamison Reese. And picked up by Robertson. He got spun around. And now Reese got taken down. And Williams pokes it ahead. Josh Williams. And the Madison hat tied. Like the most impressive teams out of the four he's seen. And I don't think he can disagree with that assessment. And the back of the power play. Suzuki plays it across. And Cousins lifts it that line. So Cousins is six foot three. A great skater. A right hand shot center. Hmm. I wonder if any teams in the NHL <laughs> could use a right handed shot center. Besides all of us. Exactly. Let's start counting. Okay. We're through 31. Justin Barron feeds it across to Suzuki. Drops it back. Cousin shoots scores. Lane open so that Suzuki can make the play. And that's a skill in itself, just coming a little bit late there into the picture. And then once he gets those hands set, he. The ones who weren't picked were born too late in 2000 to be picked. So. They get drafted, picked this year. He dropped it this year. Suzuki plays it ahead for Reese. Those players not eligible to play here. Suzuki centers it and it's tapped wide by Williams. This is for 2001s or later. Josh Williams doesn't usually miss plays like that at the net. Caden Korzak. He played four games as a 16 year old for Colonna two years ago. right-handed defenseman and, and, and I will say this too just just being at the under 18 selection camp in Calgary there's a lot of good players that didn't make this team and tells you how highly competitive the other way goal 33 seconds apart State Canada there was six goal lead the shots are 28 to 6 age out tournaments tournaments with an age limit are so tough for countries like Switzerland small player pool Reese drops it back. Had good results at the senior level, though. Got to the gold medal game again at the World Championship this year. Second time since 2013 they've done that. The shots are 31 to 7, 14 to 1 here in the period. At the Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea got beaten pretty handily. In the team kept doing the flyby and it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. You know, the South Koreans were on their home ice in the Olympics for the first time. Now Reese works it in, winds and shoots off the outside of the post. Justin Barron throws it wide. Here's Reese back on it. Last four goals for Canada scored in three minutes and 24 seconds. Suzuki drops it back for Williams, picked up by Reese. Back for Byron to Reese. He falls in the goal. I'd be okay with the number two pick in the draft. Yeah. <laughs> Options. Wow. Centers and defensemen. I think it's in Lethbridge to see him play. If you're young, celebrate it. Schneider back for it now. The final 30 seconds of the second period. 
The tournament first developed as played in Japan, actually, in 1991. I think mistaken didn't Paul Korea go to play yes he did yeah no, you are correct there was one in Mexico one year that Jerome might get Crawford both went over there and coach are now together in Ottawa Bob Hartley went over there and coach and came back Ralph Kruger came to the NHL from Switzerland having spent a long time there Joe Thornton went to Switzerland, grew a beard, and hasn't shaved since. <laughs> so. Van Edwards got one of the Canadian goals, knocks that in the corner. 45 seconds to go, and the penalty to Canada's Jameson Reese. And the point shot goes off the leg. Sebastian Bard with it. Now back at the point, it's held by Sasha Huber. That's gloved to him. Here comes Kendall with a chance shorthanded. Kirby Dock walking in. Dock feeds it back across. The Dock scores! He's expecting maybe another pass or two. But they take advantage and both really passes good, crisp, quick, stay on it. And Thibault Fanton has no chance. So nine goals from nine. Push them. And you don't want to have them go too lax. Well, so it's these are hard games because if, if you win it easily, you're supposed to, right? And if you win 3-1, what's wrong with your team? Jamison Reese with it. This is where that, like, I think it's really important. Listen, let's get to the puck quick. Let's make a quick play. Let's make sure we're working hard to be in position. Well, and also, these players know that scouts are watching every shift. They do. So, I mean... You Another give, factor. You give up a lazy giveaway, you make a bad pass, take a bad penalty. Williams shoots from a sharp angle. And that that is going to be enforced. And as you know, Gordon, you make the mention of it every single time. The standard doesn't slip in the international game. Nope. So you're going to go and play, you better realize that's how it's going to be called. And a three for four in the power play. Cousins digs it free. Back for Barrett. They run across to Suzuki. Ryan Suzuki's pass goes off his skate. Cousins races in for it. The IHF has been ahead of the curve in terms of on the four check there. And now back at center right, knocked down by Suzuki. Loose of the Swiss line, digging for it there is Suzuki. Saw his brother Nick last week at the Canadian Junior Camp. Hoping to find his way out of the roster for the World Junior Championship this year. In Vancouver. Six and a half to go in the third period. Josh Williams brings it in. In comes Williams. Notice that Tiger fires it around. And Gaynette can't hold the line. Now brought in by Rochette, shoots, and Meyer got a piece of that. Well, the Swiss have found a way to hang in here competitively as best as they can. Had a couple of chances here in the third period. Now I know that Canada's not playing at the same high rate that they were 